All right, let's start. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, this is Dr. Yuzo. Uh, this is ECE 318, Electronic Circuit 1. Uh, today is our 19th lecture. And can you guys hear me? Yep. All right, thank you, Shane. And uh, we can we can move on now. So today is uh, nothing but more exercise we're going to do. Okay. Uh, hours ago, we have done some uh, calculations for one uh, common source MOSFET amplifier circuit, AC analysis part. So very good. Okay, everyone is trying very hard. So good. So that's the best to prepare for the upcoming midterm two. Okay. So now we have a more exercise. Okay. Nothing new. I just uh, exercise those. Uh, hopefully you already have the handout printed out. If not, you can open another screen to, to those handouts following the procedure, following the small signal model and the formulas for two parameters. Okay. So step by step, you can you can try today's uh, exercise. So the first problem is actually the uh, a problem out of the textbook. It's a textbook problem 3.30. However, that problem only has DC analysis part. Okay. So here I'm involving the DC and AC. So try to find the gain as well. Okay, try to find the gain as well beyond DC analysis. And here I'm also telling you neglecting the R0 and neglecting the R0. Okay, this is very important information. Okay, you want to be neglecting the R0. Uh, I think what I want to do is just uh, give you guys time to work on it little by little and then reach as far as you could. And I'm here real time providing Q&A. Okay, so if any questions, immediately bring it up. I can explain. Okay. Um, of course, uh, we can together try to brief the procedure for DC analysis, right? Because you need to do DC analysis first, followed by AC small signal analysis, right? So to this circuit, what do we do in DC analysis? First of all, we need a circuit, right? Circuit, we need the DC circuit. And after getting the DC circuit, we need to use the OSNO provided, including weapons like, uh, first of all, the ID saturation current equation. You need that. Right? And then you need the... Uh, uh, VGS or VSG loop KVL. For writing that KVL, you obviously need the voltage at the gate. And also, you are want to do from top to bottom path KVL. And then they should be enough for you to find what? VGS, VDS. An ID. Okay. After finding those, you want to check. Right? Check if the saturation assumption was right or wrong. Right? Comparing your VDS with VDS saturation. Okay. Et cetera, et cetera. Right? If it is right, then go ahead for AC analysis by having the AC small signal circuit first. Right? After having the AC small signal circuit, you are going to, but of course, how to find the AC circuit? You, you want to place the small signal model right in the middle of the paper. Then extending terminal by terminal based on the given circuit. And then conduct the AC analysis, just like what you did today in the lab. So this is the roughly the procedure, and uh, which are also available in the uh, handouts page. Uh, by the way, I have announced those allowed handouts, right? You guys uh, received that, Daniel. 
Yep, I saw him. Good. Good. Okay. So you know what you can print out, and you can use them now uh, by by uh, opening them. Right. So my point is, take today's exercise exactly the same way as you will do in the exam. If you today you have no roadblock, perfectly smooth towards the end of the calculation, then I think you are quite a quite a, quite prepared, quite well prepared for an exam already. But if you find some uh, mistakes, some some roadblocks, immediately ask. Okay, immediately ask questions because this is your best chance. No better chance, no better way to prepare for the exam. Okay, trust me. Are there any questions? Because we're you, using, yeah, go, go ahead. Ray. Uh, we're using the same values for uh, VTP and whatever the other thing was that's in 3.30. Uh, exactly right. And uh, well, let me, I think it's fair to, to provide that here. So VPN is equals to what? VPN is equals to is it point eight? Well, this should be VTP. Should exactly it's a P channel. Exactly. Now, what is it? I can't remember. VTP equals to ninety point eight. And also, you need KP, right? KP equals to the ampere voltage square. There you go. I think you just need these two more parameters, right? And then you have uh, all of the resistance value labeled, and then. I think that's all. Any other uh, questions? Or if so, carry on. Once again, take it seriously. Okay, take it seriously. No better way to prepare for the exam. And you can also easily tell today during the lab. During the lab, you guys did it step by step, and, and by asking questions, you learn a lot. Now is another chance. All right. Uh, go as far as you could. Okay. After like 10 minutes, I will present gradually the DC analysis results. If you can reach more within 10 minutes, just go ahead for AC. If any questions, once again, immediately bring it up. Okay. By speaking. All right, talk to you guys in 10 minutes.
Can anyone answer uh, Shane's question? Do we need it? Yes. Anyone? Not for DC or for game. Nor for game, right? <laughs> In terms of the, uh, the English. Not for DC, nor for game. AC input, we never need it. Okay, because eventually, what we're looking for is the voltage to gain. Is the ratio between two unknowns. Remember, Vs is one of the R one, one unknown in the uh, uh, AC small signal analysis, the equations. When we count how many unknowns, Vs, the input source, is one of them. We, 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 we can never find them. Okay? We can never find the uh, Vs. Anyways, let me show the uh, DC analysis. Now let me show the DC analysis. And uh, here I'm uh, providing the solution for DC. Let's see uh, any questions you have? Compare your results. Anyone reach the uh, the answer? The same. ID eventually come up with the uh, 0.23 milli, a very small, or 11 milli. Obviously, we're gonna we're gonna really uh, skip one quadratic equation. We always end up with two values. Any questions anywhere I need to explain? Any questions? You guys still working on it or? Anyone could provide some response to let this lecture go on? I think the DC analysis is pretty decent it's just the ac that is a bit more work good that's that's what i'm waiting waiting for that response good good if you're working on ac uh, please keep going i'm not bothering you but if dc has anything blocking you then please ask uh, of course, try to try to reach the uh, the, the results for for uh, for DC. Okay, try to reach the results because the algebra 
Well, not every problem is re requesting the uh, calculation, of course, in the exam. But now we're in exercise, so we do have plenty of time. Anyone got any AC gain? Wanna be verified? Sure. sure. Go ahead, Shane, and go ahead, Kevin. Yeah, you want to figure out where is the uh, mistake? Okay. He said that the mistake is the pressures. They're doing exercise for what? Not for the correct answer. Okay. okay. This is a very important concept. Not for correct answer. It's useless. The pressures or valuable thing is the mistake you can find.
uh, sharing that gain of 0.25. Uh, not quite right, but not too far away either. Uh, by the way, this is common what? The circuit is common what? Correct, common source. Therefore, your gain must be negative. Uh, first of all, this is the bottom line, right? You're getting negative two, uh, negative point two five something. Ah. Uh -huh. Then that's the end of the conversation. <laughs> it's not negative gain, then, then no way to be right. If it is not negative gain, that's that's uh, that can't be right. Okay. Once again, any questions regarding the DC? Since some of you guys still working on the AC, just go ahead. But any questions regarding the DC? I'm presenting my solution here once again. Take a look. See uh, what questions you have. Anything I can help with? No. Hi, Chu. What's up? Um, for GM, is it supposed to be a complex number? Uh, what is complex number again? For GM. GM. Because first of all, the GM is equals to according to the formula is two square root times of, uh, K. the correct two times square uh, square root of KP times ID, right? So right. it won't it won't be a complex number. Oh, okay. I see but what I did right now. That that that's impossible. It's absolutely not yeah. possible. Yep, the GM GM is not a complex number. That, that that won't be right. Yep, keep working. Good, good. Any other questions? Any other concerns? If you're not sure if you're doing right, you can present, you can you can describe your equation. Let me judge, let me help you figure out what's what's wrong or what's right. Anything like that. All right, if this is fine, then Here is the AC analysis resolution by beginning with the circuit. To see any questions regarding the circuit? It's quite. It's actually quite a similar circuit as you you had back in the lab, right? But be, but be, be careful the difference between N channel and P channel. BGS is from BSG. Yes, it's the PSG from S towards gate, right? So the polarity is such so. And now I'm also circling the unknown V naught, VSG, VE, and the VS up to four unknowns and three equations. Done. Super close to what we did in today in the lab, right? Super close. So take a look to see any questions.
What's the RI value? What's the RI value? Go back to here. RI equals two. Two kilo, right? Back to here. Once again, any questions? Anything you want me to? I got like a negative 7.47. Negative seven point four. No, it's not quite right uh, yet. How about equations? Uh, how about equation? Oh, I know what it's wrong. It's a uh, looping in the middle is wrong. Okay. Okay. Of course, you don't have to focus on the uh, the answer. How about equations? Because here you can clearly see they're following. I'm I'm following at least. I'm following the handout. First weapon, output equation, Ohm's law. Okay. Second equation, they're trying to link the uh, Vs, the source, to Vsg. However, here is it, it. We cannot directly link these two. Okay? We can't. So how we do do it? Just like in the lab, what we did is a voltage divider here to find V in first, then link the V in to the VSG. Okay? Link V in to VSG. So indirectly link the VS and the VSG. Okay? Indirectly. So we are seeing four unknowns, three equations. Uh, my GM, GM is equals to, as as I presenting here is equals to point six seven eight. Can you guys see my current screen? Uh, anyways, you, you you guys can. See. Try hard, okay, and let me know what's your mistake. But anyways, uh, any questions regarding the equations or in circuit everything? And just uh, this, this, just uh, this calculation result, or or anything else? Are there any other questions? Yeah, can you go over how you related uh, Vs to Vn? So those bottom two equations. So first, your V in is the voltage here. This is the voltage across this 
guy, and the inside of this loop, this is a what? Who divider, right? So R i is share B s with R one parallel with R two. This is a whole divider. That's why I have this equation to find V e. And then the second equation, uh, I mean the third equation, the bottom one is the K V l inside of this loop. So inside this loop, we have V in B s g and the motion cross R s. All right, so then for the bottom equation, you solve for Vn and then plug that in into the second equation. So you mean the algebra? Yes, the algebra. The algebra, why is how we do this? How we do this in the algebra? Uh, let me see, okay. Because your goal is to keep V0 and Vs. So you want to cancel out the V in and the Vsg. So first of all, I'm seeing... So my idea is substitute v, uh, substitute v in here in the bottom equation by the second equation. Once again, I'm substituting the v in, in the third equation by the second equation. Therefore, the bottom equation is in terms of vs and vsg. And from that equation, you derive vs equals to something times vsg. And then V naught, which is GM times VSG times RD, divide by that. VSG is going to be canceled. Is this description clear? Yeah, I, I plugged in the wrong equations. I see my mistake. Thank you. <laughs> sure, sure. The bottom equation is the loop in the middle, correct? No, correct. Thank you. Yep. So let, let's say this, okay, uh, if your equations are correct, then don't worry too much about the final answer. But the key is, once again, how about your equations? You guys now having different answer. That's, that's not necessarily going to make you lose a lot of points in the exam. However, how about your equation? You got to make sure your equation is correct. That's where you're going to receive or lose a lot. Let me ask you, Ju and Chu, how about equations for you, for you two? Good, okay. Good, okay. okay. If the equations are fine, then the algebra-wise, uh, you guys follow what I, what I said uh, with, uh, with uh, Josh. How I solve this algebra? Any trouble from there anymore? All right. If nothing, then move on. We have to move on. I didn't expect to spend so much time on the first one uh, because we have we do have a second second one here. Go ahead. Maybe this time you just try to write equations, uh, write equations and without calculation, okay? no uh, calculation at all. Okay, this time, let's save some time. Equations only without any calculations. Uh, this is the, what are you gonna do in the uh, exam for some of the problems as well, right? So only equations, okay, only equations without calculation. Okay, BC followed by AC. I mean, this time, uh, let me provide, you probably need a diameter of Kn equals to 5 milli. Kn equals to 24 volts. And of course, here is uh, ampere divided by voltage square. And uh, back to previous uh, example one result, I think I think uh, Shane was right. Okay. The gain should be greater than one. I I definitely copied the wrong answer from somewhere. I can't remember. Sorry about that. Okay. 
I was just I was just looking at it. And is it possible you flipped um, VO and VI for the gain at the end? Because if you if you flip them, it's roughly what you had. Not quite well, exact, but it's close. Mm, let me try that. Anyways, you guys can keep working on example two. Keep going. No, it's not not as easy as that, it seems. But I, I will figure it out. I think the algebra here has something wrong. But here, go ahead and do the uh, equations only. You don't need to do any calculations, so equations only.
And here I'm presenting the uh, DC analysis. And uh, of course, you guys just need to focus on the equation to see. Anything need to be discussed? Any questions you have? I think it's fairly easy. Seems you guys uh, a few comfortable with the uh, easy. Just don't forget the checking, okay? Don't forget checking, okay? Don't forget checking your uh, procedure. It's important. It's very important. And also in the exam, uh, the, the question might ask, strictly ask for the DC circuit. I'm skipping the DC circuit here because I'm assuming the, the question is not asking for a circuit particularly, but in the exam, the question might particularly straightforward asking for the circuit, which will be assigned with a certain amount of point. Okay. Once again, any questions regarding the EC analysis? All right, it's fine then about AC. AC is fairly easy. It's fairly easy. Actually, uh, I'm using two equations and then solve the problem completely. And here's a circuit. Of, of course, by the way, this is common what circuit? Yep, it's common dream, it's common dream. It's common dream, then you're expecting to see a positive gain. You're expecting to see a positive gain. Take a look to see uh, any questions you have. Uh, I will I will look into the uh, answer the the answer for example one once again I will look into it and provide you guys a better answer. Okay. Yeah. I don't know where's the mistake. I need to spend some time to look into it yeah. during the during the lecture. I, I don't have that time. Okay. I will announce that in the announcement. For an accurate answer, for example, one, or say for problem one, please check the announcement. And now just to focus on this uh, problem two, any questions regarding the AC analysis? Anywhere I can explain more?
So just so we're clear, the uh, VO on that would be 0.5K GM VGS. Shoot, I'm looking at the wrong thing. I'm sorry. <laughs> Maybe because the Kevin is asking for the circuit again. So there is. And uh, what's your question again? Shane? Um, so for VS, that would be VS equals VGS. And then in parentheses, I've got one plus uh, uh, whatever resistor is the 500 ohm and then GM. Uh, you need to slow down and let me write it down. Yep. Go ahead. What is it? Okay, so VS, and this is, yeah, VS equals VGS. Then in parentheses, I have one plus um, the RS VM. RS VM? GM, the uh, transconductance. Yep, and that's it. And that would, that would be the correct form that you would use when you're calculating the gain, correct? Uh, first of all, your VS, who is VS? Or I mean, VI, VI. Or? Yeah, okay. VI. I had it written down as VS. Okay, yeah, that, that, that's not a big deal, though, as long as you know. So VI is equals to, let me see. VI is equals to uh, VGS plus the... Uh, is, uh, this is a correct equation. There's nothing wrong with it. First of all, this is, there's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with it. Because the because basically Shane is doing this loop KBL, right? This means inside this loop KBL is nothing but VI like this. Because this time here, you call it V in if you try to link with the previous uh, problem, then you call this V in is equal to VI. This is nothing but VI. Right? So v in equals to VI, and this guy equals to VGS plus the voltage cross RS. And the current through RS is GM times VGS. Okay? So this equation, nothing wrong at all. Any other questions? Anything? All right, so if this is fine, then we move on to the third problem, exercise three. Very simple, you just directly find a DC and an AC small signal circuit. I think the DC circuit is fairly easy, right? For example, the first circuit, but be very careful. We are seeing two uh, stage, or say two circuits, okay? two MOSFETs. First one is M1, second one is M2, right? So when you're looking for the DC analysis, obviously the DC analysis uh, for this first circuit is just uh, as simple as, let me, let me do this. And DC circuit is fairly easy. You, this guy open, this guy open, and then this guy open. That's it. The rest of the circuit is, is DC circuit. Same thing here. Here is open. Here is open, right? Here is open. The rest of the circuit is the DC circuit. So DC circuit, fairly easy. Because by opening here, coupling input, coupling here, your input AC source is gone as well. So you short it or not, it doesn't matter. Same thing here, you input coupling here is open and the input source voltage is gone. So nothing, nothing left there. This is the DC circuit. Here, nothing. Just that this guy is 
this node is connected to the gate of M2 and also R1 and R2. That's it. Here is open, then it's open. EC circuit. I give you uh, five minutes to try to find the AC small signal circuit. Let's say the first one. Uh, if you have time, you can go ahead for a second one too. So go ahead for the small signal circuit for this two. Go ahead. Give you guys five to six minutes, should be enough. Fine. Circuit, okay. We are not doing analysis. We are doing circuit. We only find the circuit.
All right, not much time left, but enough for you guys to take a look at the uh, solution here. And uh, let me explain uh, how I agree to you guys again, okay? I am i don't care about the look. I'm checking the connection. Terminal after terminal, okay? So you don't need to worry about that the look is really lovely. Well, well, of course, I appreciate it if you can keep it neat and organized, okay? That, that will be highly appreciated. However, that's the not major concern about so how much point you can lose or keep. Okay, so the, the, the key is the connection. The key is the connection. For example, your is your uh... I think we lost your audio. You guys hear me now? Yep. Where 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 are you guys missed? As soon as you started circling stuff. Oh my. Hmm. All right. The what I what I said before that was uh, how I agree to you guys is I gonna check I gonna check the uh, connection. Did you guys hear this? This part? That part we heard, it was just when you started circling the resistors. Better, that's better, because I thought you guys didn't hear that either. OK, so this 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 uh, this connection, for example, is your RD between the D1 and the, and the ground? Is your R0 one is between D1 and the S1? Is your D1 is shorted with G2? And also, if you're seeing more than one MOSFET, what do you want? Label the substrate, right? It's not GDUS, but G1D1S1. So what does it mean by neat or, say, organized? This is what I, what I mean. You are able to differentiate which is which, right? By subscript of one or two, you are differentiating MOSFET 1 and MOSFET 2. So here is a similar thing, right? Similar thing is your D2 is ground. If it is, then it doesn't matter your ground is up here or down here. It doesn't matter. Right? The point is your D2 must be ground. Right? And also your output here is it out of the S2. If it is, it doesn't matter where is it. What's the orientation? It doesn't matter, right? Our S2 is here presented. Right. Between S2 and the ground, okay. and it must be so, otherwise it's wrong. Right. So my point is connection. Yeah, my point is connection. How you do the connection? Doesn't matter what's the look. And you probably have also done the second one. Now here's the second one. So here's the second. For example, is your G2 ground? R2, R3 between G2 and G1 and the G1 and the ground. As to how you placed or where you place the M1 and M2, it doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. RD is between output and ground. You have this ground up here or down here shorted with, with, with the S1 down here. It doesn't matter.
because we do have problem only asking for the uh, circuit, remember, in the exam. Okay. We, have, we do have problem only asking for the circuit. Okay. Any questions? Anything I can help with? All right, if uh, nothing for now, then, okay, thank you for attending today's lecture and uh, good luck with the midterm too, all right? Uh, I view have a real-time conference going on and providing the real-time Q&A during the exam time. So if you want to ask some questions, you can join the conference before starting the exam, right? before starting it. Otherwise, you, you can't get in anymore. All right, that's all for today. Uh, thank you. Bye now.